hey guys welcome back to alpha tutorials this is the third video of the responsive web design series in my previous video i demonstrated flexbox to be pretty essential in responsive web design today we're gonna start learning about flexbox a little more before we get started please press the like button and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and now let's get started I'll say again what is a flexbox flexbox is a CSS3 layout mode that provides an easy and clean way to arrange items within a container there are no floats it's responsive and mobile friendly you will find positioning the child elements much easier element orders can also be easily changed without editing the source code of the HTML and the margins of the flex container don't collapse with the margins of its contents flexbox has the ability to alter the height and the width of an item to let it fit in the best way in the available free space its container has flexbox is direction agnostic basically first we get a flex container and inside that we get child elements you can see the white background here is the flex container and these and these elements are child elements so here we have an HTML document in that we have an unordered list with a class named flex container and inside the list we have header sidebar then the main contents will be put here and then another sidebar and finally the footer now in the CSS we have put some properties for the flex container first basically zero padding and margins no list styles and auto height and these are the flex properties that we have used for the flex container then we also have some flex properties put into the child elements if we wanna change the difference between flexbox models we will just change from let's assume flex 2 or uh, I'm sorry it's flex 3 to flex 2 or from flex 2 to flex 4 you can see this makes the main contents box to push the sidebars all you have to do is to make sure what looks best for your site so here are some other flex properties that you can use in future okay now I'll also show the basic HTML outline that we will use in future tutorials. First, we will declare the doc type as HTML5 and now inside the header element we will get a viewport tag that will allow our sites to be responsive itself this property with equals device width makes your site scalable according to your browser size and, the, and all the contents of the body will be put here so guys that's all for today hope you guys enjoy this video 
please press the like button and don't forget to subscribe to our channel I've got some special discounts on Amazon products the links are down in the description you can check it out stay tuned for upcoming tutorials on this series have a nice day